Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Friday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukana with your Island News Midday Update. New at midday, the DOE is investigating social media posts made by a student at Moanalua High School after she threatens to bring a gun onto campus. And according to Stolen Stuff Hawaii's social media page, that Moanalua student is threatening to kill another student, her mom and baby cousin, by threatening to bring that gun onto campus in her backpack. Apparently, many students are worried and are staying home from school today. We reached out to the Department of Education who tells us they are aware of that situation. HPD is on campus and they are working with the school on the necessary parent communication. New at midday, a former Honolulu police officer with ties to the Kealoha investigation appears in court today for a DUI case. Former HPD officer Albert Lee is charged with driving under the influence and falsifying police reports. Last November, Lee was found in the passenger seat of his vehicle after it had crashed in Hawaii Kai. Court records show Lee appeared to be intoxicated and he had been scheduled to testify before a grand jury against the Kealohas that same morning. Lee's next appearance is December 8th. Hawaii State Hospital escapee Randall Saito will appear in court today to begin the process to extradite him back to Hawaii. And Saito tells reporters every time he applied for release, hospital officials made him sound like a bad guy. He was committed to the state hospital in 1981 after he was found not guilty by reason of insanity for killing a woman. Well, some of our kapuna are enjoying a Thanksgiving lunch today. The annual Lanakula Meals on Wheels event now being held at the Kalihi Union Church. Coldwell Bankers Agents for Change will issue a $5,000 check. 60 volunteers are serving those meals to our kapuna. And as always, we'll have more on Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Have a great day.